Um, good morning, good morning, Chairman Austin, Chairman Horn, and members of the committee. My name is Ruth Whitaker, and I represent the Chamber of Progress, a tech industry coalition promoting technology's progressive future. Our organization works to ensure that all Americans benefit from technological leaps. Our corporate partners include Amazon, Google, and Meta, but our partner companies don't have a vote or veto over our positions. We appreciate your commitment to combating organized crime, but we urge your committee to oppose SB 257. This bill has already been rejected by at least 15 state legislatures, will hurt small online sellers, and is unnecessary now that big box retailers and online marketplaces have endorsed a new compromise version of the bill at the federal level. SB 257 would make small online sellers collateral damage in Walmart's battle against Amazon. Brick and mortar marketplace giants are trying to stifle healthy competition and will ultimately hurt Etsy artisans, eBay sellers, and other online micro businesses. According to a recent article in The Atlantic, bills like SB 257 will ultimately help Walmart by weakening the competitive advantage of large scale online shopping platforms. It won't stop sophisticated counterfeiters who will surely adapt to the new rules. At least 15 states have rejected bills similar to SB 257, prioritizing the needs of online entrepreneurs and consumer choice. Legislators in Republican and Democratic led states agree this legislation would add additional obstacles that would ultimately hurt small sellers, decrease opportunity, increase red tape, and hinder consumers in search of a deal. The only state to pass this legislation this legislation is Walmart's home state of Arkansas. Finally, a federal compromise version of this bill has already been endorsed by both retailers and leading online marketplaces, making this legislation unnecessary. In October, US House members introduced the Federal Inform Act to combat the online sale of stolen, counterfeit, and dangerous consumer products. This legislation is supported by retail groups, a coalition including Etsy and eBay, and Amazon. Online marketplaces are largely borderless and don't observe, observe state by state boundaries. Passing SB 257 would exacerbate a patchwork of state laws on an issue that is more properly addressed at the, fe the federal level. <clears throat> Excuse me. The consensus approach reflected in the federal version of this legislation represents the best model for tackling this issue without harming online sellers. We hope you'll heed the perspectives of the legislators who have assessed the consequences of passing state versions of this legislation and oppose SB 257. This bill would take sides for Walmart against Amazon, would hurt online business owners, and has been rejected in all but one state legislature. We encourage the Connecticut legislature instead to support the, the improved federal compromise version of this legislation that has- Excuse, excuse me, you're reaching the three minute mark. Can you please summarize? I'm all done. So thank you. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Uh, Representative Horn. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. And thank you, um, Ruth, for your testimony today. Um, at, so I have a couple questions. First of all, you mentioned the uh, federal compromise legislation that you support. How is that different from the bill in front of us? Yeah, so the, the provisions in the federal bill are, you know, largely similar to this bill. Um, but our concern is with a, a state by state approach rather than the federal approach. So rather than the specifics of each bill, we think that it, this issue would be better addressed at the federal level so that online sellers don't have to, there we go. Uh, try to comply with, you know, 50 different rules. Hold on, hold on one minute. 